The holiday season is just ahead of us, and David put together this nice presentation for the tip of the week, four tips for effective promotional campaigns uh, for your membership website. And I think this is more than anything a good refresher course and a good way to stimulate ideas on how to generate some hype and activate people who may be on the fence uh, from joining your membership community. So Dave, I'll pass it over to you and you can kind of tell us a little bit more about this. Yeah, you, you pretty much hit the nail on the head there. It's a pretty simple presentation. It should hopefully start to get the ideas churning for all of you as we begin to head into the holiday and year-end season, approaching Black Friday, holiday sales, New Year's, all of that. So figured first slide, just cover the basics, why you should run a promotion. So first reason would be if you've maybe over the past several months, year, you've been generating a list of potential members, whether that's local businesses, newsletter subscribers, if you have that contact information, now would start to be a good time to engage them and offer them a promotion to finally get signed up on your site. Another one would be certain times of the year are prime for promotions, as we just said, heading on into Black Friday, the holiday season, New Year's, Cyber Monday as well. You can also re-engage members who have in the past canceled. So if you've maintained either some form of connection with them or you still have their contact information, their email addresses, you can include them in some of your marketing materials heading into this promotion season to hopefully re-engage them. And you know, maybe you've made some updates to the site, maybe you've added new features, new benefits that would encourage them to come back to your site and sign up once more. This would also be a good time to explain any of those new or improved services that you may be offering, new benefits to your members. Maybe your community's grown so much that in and of itself could be a benefit. You know, if you have a lead gen site, you're providing leads to professional members. If you've substantially grown over the past several months, maybe since they left your site, now would be a good time to fill them in on what's new with your website, how it's grown, what's changed, and why now would be a perfect time to come back. And for any of your existing members, now would also be a good time to increase that customer lifetime value. So if you offer additional services to your existing members, you can hopefully try to extract some additional revenue from them by offering them promotions on those additional services that your website offers. Dave, I just want to touch on that point one more time, the new and improved services. You guys see all the updates that we're pushing you know, constantly on the Brilliant Directories platform, especially if you're starting your site for the first time. You don't necessarily need to unlock all the functionality that's built into the Brilliant Directories platform and offer it to your members from day one. What's really nice is, one, it, it helps you simplify your offering to your members. If you can pull back some of the features and make the membership levels much simpler, and then over time you can unlock additional membership levels by utilizing and making available some of the built-in features that are in Brilliant Directories. Simple example is, Brilliant Directories is a great for publishing content like coupons and events and things like that. Maybe you just launch with one of those and maybe a few months later after you have a good amount of content in one type of post, then you release, for example, the, the ability to publish events and maybe you need to upgrade your, your membership level to access that additional functionality. So keep in mind that new and improved services can just be drip feeding and unlocking some of the features that are built into the Brilliant Directories platform rather than coming out with everything on day one right out of the gate. Yeah, that's a great way to really keep things fresh on your website. And you, those are great newsletter headlines for your community. You say, hey, our development team has been hard at work here, and now we have this new feature and this new feature. And, and really, it's just Brilliant Directories unlocking more tools for you guys uh, behind the scenes. So that's really good value for, for you guys there and for your communities. There is a caveat when you're running promotions on a membership site. You want to make sure that the promotions don't give your existing members any negative feelings. You don't want them to feel punished by offering lower prices to new members, people who aren't yet signed up. So if you can put yourself in the shoes of one of your existing members, if they signed up on your site for $20 per month, and that's what they've been paying over the last several months, but now you're offering for new members $10 per month to sign up. Well, that's a 50% decrease in the price that your existing members aren't getting. So at the very least, they could be a little bit put off by that. And worst case scenario would be either they leave entirely or they cancel their membership 
only to then re-sign up to take advantage of that discount. So either way, it's not beneficial for either you or your existing members. So some alternatives to that would be to make your promotions a back-end offer so that only your email subscribers see it. So instead of making it a public offer on the front end of the site, you can send it to exclusively a specific set of people in your uh, email list. That would be a great way to only make sure certain people see the promotion and not others. You can also discount other things that your existing members can take advantage of. So going down to that third point, if you have additional products or services, that would be a great thing to run promotions on. Or if you have different payment options for the memberships themselves, instead of discounting the monthly plans, you can offer a discount for your existing members to upgrade to an annual plan or to upgrade to a one-time lifetime membership fee. So that would be a way to still allow your existing members to take advantage of discounts on your actual membership levels without having them have a, a negative feeling about the promotions that you're running because they would be saving money either on that annual plan or that lifetime plan. Yeah, that's a good point. You just don't want to have too much conflicting pricing for existing members and, and new members signing up. Even if it's something public, uh, we're going to dive into some ideas here on what you what you can offer as promotions that won't create this type of conflict for existing members. Yeah, another note is that you don't want to discount your products and services, membership levels included, so much that it then really reduces the perceived value of your offerings. Uh, you still want to make sure that your products and services seem to you know, have substantial value to them and the price reflects that. So you don't want to lower your prices so much that existing members or potential future members may begin to really wonder what the true value of your offerings are. That's right. I see like the promotion periods as a time to really tick the needle for some people that might be on the on the fence. They just need that extra push uh, to get started. You don't need to have a fire sale, you know, to capture uh, additional members. Yeah, with membership websites, it's not the same as having a retail store where, you know, you may have specific, you know, maybe 80% blowout sale or Memorial Day sale or something like that. With membership sites, typically you're trying to really re-engage any potential members that you may have lost over the past several months or re-engage your existing members. It's really a time to bring more attention to your website, get people excited about it again, because typically with membership sites, it's not kind of a spur of the moment purchase decision compared to something like a retail store. So some promotional ideas for you that you can offer a free trial period um, that would be available with our add-on. You could give potentially new members the opportunity to sign up for free, try out your website for maybe a week or a month, whatever length of time you want. And then once that time expires, they'll automatically be billed for the membership level that they've been assigned to. So that's one kind of promotional idea. Another one would be just your standard coupon code discounts. However, you can only apply that toward the first payment for new membership fees. This would be another one of those opportunities that you could use to provide a potentially substantial discount to new members while also not upsetting your existing members because you're only giving these new members a discount on that first payment, not their membership fees over an extended period of time. Third one would be discounts on non-membership products and services. So if you offer uh, maybe professional services, marketing services, banner ad space on your site, those other products and services would be things that you could offer uh, some pretty nice discounts on. Before moving forward, I just want to dive in on those first two up there um, and kind of show people a lot of people have those add-ons already, but they might not know where to edit them. Let me just show you guys where the free trial period would be uh, first. If you go to manage products, and you head on over to, for example, a, a paid product like this. If you go to the pricing tab, you have this enable free trial period. You can certainly choose yes. And then over here, you can say how many days. Uh, so I, someone in the Facebook group was mentioning that they want to give the first year free or something like that. Uh, you can certainly put 365 days there. Uh, you may want to put 14 days there. And what's really nice about this is they'll sign up, 
they'll put their credit card information in and they still have the opportunity to cancel within that time period. And if, if they do so, they won't be billed. But after the free trial period is over, their credit card will automatically be billed. So there's no further action required on your end or their end uh, to continue with the paid subscription. Uh, with regards to the coupon codes, that's also in the finance tab here. There's a section called coupon codes. And David made a really good point here. He said coupon code discounts on first payment. So I'll show you where this setting is. When you're creating a coupon code, I'll just go ahead and edit this one here that we have. There's a lot of good settings here, like the type of discount and things like that. Uh, but this is the one David was re referring to. So when you create the discount, there's an option to apply to recurring payments. So if this was a monthly membership subscription they were signing up for, and if it's a 30% savings, if this was set to yes, every monthly payment would be at the 30% savings. If you select this to no, then in effect, only the first payment that they process will be at the promotional discount. Then any future payments would be at the regular price. So again, as to not have any conflict with your existing members, you may just want to create that promotion on, on the first sign up payment for, for new members. And you would want to set apply to recurring payments uh, to no. So again, only the initial payment would be discounted and any future re recurring payments in the cycle would be at uh, the regular price. Right. And so, Finishing up this slide, the final two points are ways to add some urgency to your sales. It's a way to really push people to commit to that purchase rather than kind of having them maybe stay on the fence. Adding urgency pushes people over that finish line. So you can have a doors closing promotion, which essentially just means there's a limited time for the sale. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, traditionally, those would be a doors closing sale. You know, Black Friday, typically the sales are only available on that Friday. In the case of membership sites, you could use a doors closing promotion strategy, not just for period of time that the promotion will last for, but you can also, instead of offering it specifically for one of your services, kind of standalone services, you can offer it as a new membership enrollment period. So maybe once a quarter or a few times per year is only when you'll accept new members into your website. So that adds a real sense of exclusivity as well as urgency to your website that your existing members also benefit from because they get a sense of kind of VIP status by already being accepted into the community. And price increasing goes along with that. You could say that next year, starting January 1st, 2020, our prices will be increasing by 15%, 20%, take advantage of the current price now while it lasts. And, you know, the assumption with this is you have a list of people that you've, whether they've subscribed to your newsletter or they've applied to join your site or you've been able to capture um, interest from prospective members um, in some method. Maybe you're offering some type of a lead magnet like an ebook or some kind of a PDF download. You do need and should have a system for capturing email addresses of people who may be interested of joining and, and haven't necessarily signed up for a formal membership plan. Dave, let me just search our blog here. I think we had a couple articles on like creating a member acquisition plan. Here it is. Four ways to improve your member acquisition strategy. Um, so we talk about like offering something for free, um, presenting high quality content, pushing hard with testimonials. You know, the, the promotions are only going to be as effective and, and the success of them are predicated on the fact that people want to join your website. So, you know, at the end of the day, you do need to have supportive reasons and benefits as to why somebody would want to join uh, your website. Then when you run a promotion, again, you're, you're just pushing the people who may be on the fence and motivating them to, you know, pull the trigger on, on actually officially joining your site. So part of that is growing your email list of potential members. So whenever you are running a promotion, you have people to contact about the promotion in the first place. So that should be helpful for you guys there. All right. So run us through this one, Stu, Dave. You, you just said like a checklist for things that promotions should include. Yeah, so right off the bat, you want to provide clear steps for the customers to take. How exactly do they take advantage of the promotion? Is the promotion kind of already put in place for them? Have you already lowered the prices and all they need to do is check out? Or do they need to enter a promotion code? Do they need to um, send you an email to get additional details? 
make sure those steps are as clearly defined as possible so you're not inhibiting your potential customers from handing you over their money. Uh, you want to make that process as simple as possible for everyone involved. And going along with that, you also want to clearly identify whatever problem it is that you're solving and the solution that goes along with that. That kind of just goes along with creating just a generally solid sales pitch. You don't want to simply offer them a, a promotion or a deal. You want to be clear with them. This is the problem. This is how we can solve it for you. Now is a great time to buy because you can take advantage of our Black Friday sale. And then after that, again, it's just going back to the urgency, limited supply, limited time. And then maybe you also want to provide a special bonus. Maybe if you sign up for new membership today, we'll also send you a free PDF download on how to increase foot traffic into your mom and pop shop or something like that. And actually the bonus for acting now, and I'll just go back to the previous slide, it could be the free trial period. So if you could have a, your annual plan and what you can do is give them 30 days before the annual plan. Uh, they, they get billed for the annual plan. So in effect, um, they're getting a month free or two months free um, in that sense. So using the free trial period and the, and the coupon code, that could be the bonus for, for acting today. Yeah, that would be a great way to kind of combine a few of these, uh, these ideas. Let me go back actually into the admin real quick. Here's something that it's, it's a little bit of a workaround, but it makes perfect sense. So if you want to create a new coupon code, um, what you can do is you can do percent discount and you can do 100% off and then just say it doesn't apply to the, to the future payments. So their first payment would in effect be 100% off. So that's like first month free. Uh, so that's something that you could do with the promo codes. Also, if you don't want to use the percent, you could just do price override and make it zero dollars. Uh, so it'll just, when they put the promo code in, you know, month free, it'll make the first payment zero dollars. Uh, and then just make sure you're selecting no for apply to recurring payments. Uh, so that's another way to use the coupon codes to give 100% off their first payment with you of their cycle. All right, uh, let's move on here. Make sure your promotions have clear steps, limited supply, sense of urgency, bonus for acting now. And then lastly is when should you run promotions? Should they be year round? Dave, you put together a quick list here of some good time frames to do uh, promotions on. Yeah, so the one-off spontaneous sale, that's kind of if you're just feeling in the mood to do a sale, maybe um, you're looking to generate some additional revenue real quick. You can just do a one-off spontaneous sale. Obviously, you still want to structure it as well as you would any other sale. Probably want to send out some promotional material leading up to the sale just to get people in the mindset, get them excited for it. Seasonal sales, that would be holiday sales, Black Friday, New Year's, uh, here in the U.S., Memorial Day, things like that. You could also celebrate internal company milestones by having a sale. So maybe if your website reaches you know, the first 1,000 members or the first 1,500, 2,000 members, you want to provide a special promo for only your existing members. That's a great way to, again, increase that customer lifetime value and also make them feel special, make them feel valued. So if you have any additional products or services, you can offer your existing members a discount to celebrate that internal milestone. And another one would be if your website is focused on a specific industry or niche, maybe there's a special event going on. You can brand a promotion around that event, schedule it around the event, again, release promotional material leading up to the event to get people excited about it, notify them, make sure that they have it top of mind as that event approaches. And then on the day of that event or week, that's when you can begin running that promotion focused around that event. And I really like the one about internal company milestones um, because it's a way to showcase your company's progress to your community. For example, maybe you reach a certain number of, of you know, Facebook followers or, or people in your Facebook group, um, or you're about to release or unlock one of your BD features on your site, and, and that's going to be a big announcement. Um, or maybe, you know, who knows, maybe you expanded into a new market or you, you've just released new category options on your site. Those type of internal company milestones are great to rally uh, potential members and existing members around because it not only pr provides them with a promotion, but indirectly it's a way for you to advertise the growth and success of your, of your community to your uh, followers. So 
don't, it's easy for us to overlook the small wins that you have as an organization. Just keep in mind that, you know, the people who are following you or, or you know, visiting your site, they do want to see updates from you and the internal company milestones and running promotions around those are, are really great to take advantage of and not to be discounted, no pun intended. It's also a great way to reinforce that sense of community around your website. Right. Reincorporating your members into these these big milestones and making everybody feel valued. Right. Well, as your company grows, everybody wins together, and there's something for everyone that um, as the as your organization grows. So definitely think about those kind of things. Great uh, tips there, David. 